Welcome back to Andrew Jean Cleaning. Today we're doing something fun and exciting. Well, we always do fun and exciting things here over on Andrea Jean Cleaning. We're gonna do a little challenge here. We're gonna see if we can get some bugs to crawl out of these fresh strawberries that I just purchased. Say what? Yes, I know this is absolutely disgusting. However, as you know, produce, not just strawberries, house a lot of different bugs and pesticides. So you wanna make sure that you clean these. So first we're gonna do a little experiment and then I'm gonna show you the best way to clean your produce so that you can reduce the amount of pesticides that are on them and the amount of bugs. There's recently something on TikTok where someone soaks strawberries in salt water for 30 minutes and then there are these little sort of worm type things that crawled out of their strawberries. So we're gonna do that here today. So I have a warm sort of bucket of water and I warmed it up so that the salt would mix better and I'm gonna be pretty generous with this salt solution here. Just gonna put my little finger in there, stir it up. We'll just pop a, I don't know, one, let's do three strawberries because these are gonna get really salty and if I wanna have any chance of eating them, I'm gonna to have to rinse them off really, really well when I'm done here. So we're gonna let this soak for 30 minutes. We're gonna come back, see if we can find some bugs and then talk about how to actually clean these things in real life with simple ingredients that you have in your home that you can do quick and easy when you bring these home from say a farmer's market or a grocery store. There are regulations around the amount of sort of pesticide and bugs that can be in produce. And what we find here could scare you dramatically, but I don't want it to do that. We've been eating bugs, consuming bugs for probably our entire lives here and you're probably healthy, that sort of thing. So I don't want this to scare you, but just kind of shed some light on things and then give you a solution to make you feel better about things living in there. Don't get me wrong, I love strawberries. I absolutely love strawberries. If you're new here, hit me up on Instagram at Adrienne Co. I teach women how to turn their passions into profits and this channel is one way that I do that. Okay, I'll meet you back here in 30 minutes. And we're back. It's been 30 minutes. I had these strawberries soaking. I've looked at all three of them and honestly, I wanted to find something on them. I don't know why I know that's so disgusting, but I did not see any sort of little bugs crawling out of there that I could see with the naked eye. I'm sure if I had a microscope, I could find something. So in my experience, I don't see any visible bugs crawling out of these strawberries in this salt water solution. So that's that for you. I don't know, give this a try and let me know what you think. It's weird, but I don't know, kind of fun at the same time. All right, let's move on to how to actually wash and clean your strawberries. Now it is good enough just to completely wash your strawberries in a strainer using cold water like so before you consume them. But if you wanna take it a step further, if I haven't grossed you out with this, you can absolutely add some apple cider vinegar or some white distilled vinegar here. So I've already rinsed these out. I have a cold water bucket here. I'm gonna put my strawberries in. And if you're probably wondering why I'm in a bathroom, it's because I have four kids and it's so loud in my house. <laughs> That's the honest truth. Now they recommend a three to one ratio. I just like to eyeball things in my life. So we're just gonna eyeball it here. Do, 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 do. That's good enough for me. And this is generally how I wash all my produce anyway. Now, if you wanna take it a step even further, you can add a dash of salt and I will do that. Or you could add a little dash of baking soda. So I let these soak for about 30 minutes here. And I don't mind the smell, um, particularly of apple cider vinegar, but this is gonna help remove any sort of the stuff that's on the surface of the fruits and vegetables. You can get a produce scrubber and just kind of scrub on the outside. So once that's been soaking for 30 minutes, I would put it back here. I'm gonna let these soak, by the way, because I will be eating them. I'm gonna put them back here in the strainer and then rinse them out thoroughly, let them dry, and then store them. So again, you can just wash them with cold water if you want to, that's just fine here. But you can take it a step further using vinegar, white distilled vinegar, salt, baking soda, whatever you wanna to use to your heart's desire. All right, if you enjoyed this little science experiment with me and then some learning as well, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Also hit me up on Instagram, Andrew Jean Co. I teach women how to turn their passions into profits and this channel is one way that I demonstrate that. All right, happy strawberry eating my friend, take care.